G'day guys, we've got a calculus question today, uh, more specifically, simple harmonic motion. So, the question says that we have a body moving such that its displacement from an origin O at time t seconds is x metres, where x is equal to 4 sine of 2t. Prove that the motion is simple harmonic. Full stop. We then have to determine the period and amplitude of the motion. And then finally, how far does the body move in the first second? Okay, so I'm going to try and make use of all of the space that I have on this little sheet of mine. To begin with, what we have to do is to prove that simple harmonic motion exists, we have to show that the double derivative of displacement or acceleration, in this case we can make it neater by just going x with two dots on the top, is equal to a negative constant k squared times the displacement equation. Cool. So let's go about trying to solve part A. So first of all, we're going to, we've got the equation x equals 4 sine of 2t. So we're going to take the derivative of this to start with. So the derivative of this, we're going to call it x dot, is equal to, this is going to be 4 cos of 2t times 2, or 8 cos of 2t. And from here, we get the double derivative, or we just take the derivative of this. double dot is equal to the derivative of cosine is negative sine. We've got times the derivative of the inside, which is 2. We're going to have negative 16 sine of 2t. Now, this is where uh, it's quite interesting. We have this equation here, but if you notice, these two equations here are linked. So what we can say is, this equation here, this x double dot, is equal to, we could say it's negative 4 times 4 sine of 2t, which is just simply negative 4 times the displacement equation. So we can see that, yes, in fact, x double dot does equal negative a constant, which is going to be 2 squared times the displacement equation. So, prove it at simple harmonic. So, hence, Objects motion is simple harmonic motion. We'll stop. Cool. Let's get on to part B. So, determine the period and amplitude of the motion. So, to do this, let's go about working out the period first. Now another equation that we're going to have to know to work out period is period is equal to 2 pi on k. And from part A, we know that k is equal to 2. So we can say that t equals 2 pi on 2 which is equal to pi. Let's make sure we have our units. Now, the amplitude. So, for simple harmonic motion, we have these fundamental formulas. If we have the displacement in the form that we do, i.e. x equals a sine k 
kt, which a is 4 and k is 2, this part here is our amplitude. So we just compare this formula to this formula and we see that our amplitude is 4. meters. Always good to put the uh, units in guys because you will get marked down if you don't. So there's one of my solutions and there's the other one of my solutions. Okay, part C. How far does the body move in the first second? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do guys is we're going to figure out where the object starts, so it's initial displacement. So we're going to have um, x when time equals 0. So for that, we just substitute 0 into our initial equation. We're going to have x is equal to 4 sine of 2 times 0. Sine of 0 is 0 times 4 is still 0. So at time equals 0, x is equal to 0. And then what we're going to do is we're going to find out our final displacement. So that's the first step. This is the second step. So we're going to find displacement at time equals 1, or at the end of the first second. Well, this is going to be 4 sine of 2 times 1 which is equal to, we use our calculators for this, guys, 3.64. Cool. Now, where we're going to get tripped, tripped up on this part C question, guys, is that simple harmonic motion is almost sinusoidal in, you know, in shape. It looks like this. So what we have to make sure is that our um, object doesn't go up to its maximum and then turn around. So if our object went to here, we would have to get the total amplitude plus the piece that's remaining on this bit, because that would be the total distance. So what we have to do first is we have to figure out if the maximum is going to occur between 0 and 1 second. So what we're going to do, where is our maximum going to occur? Well, if it's sinusoidal, it'll be the period divided by 4. So the amplitude will occur um, when time is equal to pi on 4 seconds. So pi on 4 is definitely between 0 and 1. So what we have to do is we're going to have to figure out what its maximum amplitude is first. So we're going to work that out, and that's x of pi on 4, which is equal to 4 sine of 2 times pi on 4, which is equal to sine of 4 sine of 2 times pi on 4 is pi on 2, pi on 2 is 90, sine of 90 is 1, 4 times 1 is 4. Cool. So, what we can see is that in the first second, our object starts at 0, it goes all the way to 4, and then it comes back a wee bit to 3.64. So what we have to do is we just have to calculate the total distance that it travels. So the distance, or, yeah, let's write distance, is equal to 4 plus whatever the distance is between 4 and 3.64, or 0 0.36, which is equal to 
4.36 meters. Cool. So there's all of the parts of our problem solved, guys. Now, what you're going to need, I would suggest that you have a very good understanding of all of your basic formulas for simple harmonic motion. You've got your relationships that you need between um, acceleration and displacement, but also a equation that you can use to work out your period, as well as what the um, generalized form of the displacement equation should be. So you can just read out the amplitude and the period. So from there guys what I would do is I would just work through a couple of problems just to make sure that you are aware of how to um, swap in and swap out your uh, variables but also your formulas when to use which one and after that guys you know you should be okay it's not too complicated just keep trotting along keep working on it uh, and keep practicing and it'll definitely come. So if you like the video, sorry to ramble on a bit, um, you know, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, I put out new videos all the time and I'm always looking for new video ideas. So can, you can just drop them in the you know, comment section below. But until next time guys, definitely just keep enjoying your maths.